my beautiful aqua gang 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 what it do you guys what's up baby it's your girl in per 777 here today with a general message for my beautiful aquarian gang my beautiful aquarius soul family i hope you guys are doing super fantastic i most certainly am holy angels and spirit guys give us exactly what it is that we need to know in regards to the energy showing up today baby for aquarius sun moon rising and venus signs the messages are general, guys, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to force shit to fit, okay? Cross watchers, place yourself where you belong in the storylines, as you are welcome here as well. Again, you don't force anything to fit either. Take a moment, click that like button, y'all, okay? Let's get acquainted. Let's let other people know we're here, you know, so we can continue to grow. Um, I truly appreciate those of you who do it every single time. It helps with our engagement, okay? If you want to make it official, we would love to have you a part of the fam. Bam! So, smash that subscribe button. Okay, make it official. Let's let's commit to one another, okay? Let's commit to being great together. You and I! Us! Okay, as a collective, honey. Alright, also click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload on the channel. Let's go ahead and jump in. I have no pre-shuffle. I have a lot of things going through my mind, but I am being led to not say anything. If you know me, okay, and you've been rocking with me for for a minute, then you know that's quite hard for your girl. Okay, I always got a lot to say, and I'll be wanting to say what's on my mind. I'll be wanting to say what's on my mind. They're animated energy. Okay, so they're knocking over crystals and everything else. I don't know if you just saw that. Get the instant replay. Rewind that thing. So, I don't get anger. They're telling me shut up. Okay, fine. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Let's do two more shuffles here. In the meantime, in between time, just have a little roll call down below. Let me know you hear. Shoot me a little hey, girl. Hey, don't be rude. You know what I'm saying? Say it, bitch. Say it, bitch. All right, so let's see what is being unmasked here i am able to say that and unmasking okay so did you unmask this person or did they accidentally unmask themselves all right so we have offer of love in the reverse this is about rejection okay so you were either rejected first and you flipped and reversed it on this person um or they feel rejected by you, okay? There's a wound here that has been triggered. We have inner child. This is someone who looks mature on the outside, but sometimes their inner child kind of creeps in and it does appear to sabotage things. We have isolation. Oh, okay. So somebody is being isolated or iced out is the is the phrasing that I'm hearing. This person is showing up because they do still feel like there's a chance. Um, the phrase that I was hearing before I even began the reading was, let's get back to the basics. Things got out of hand. Um, they may feel like, you know, it was an accident. What I did was an accident. It was an isolated incident. Okay, it's an isolation. This is not who I really am. But I heard unmasked. So who the fuck are you really then? Huh? Who are you then? Who are you exactly? At the bottom of the deck, we have trapped. Okay. So, somebody is really deep in their thoughts right now, you guys, okay? I don't get that they are being conceited or arrogant and thinking that this is definitely going to come back together. They're just being hopeful at this point. Um, I do feel a very strong sense that this person feels like you got the wrong idea about who they were by an isolated incident. So in their mind, now this might not be the truth for you, but their truth is resonating as you rejected me over one time. It was just one time. For some of you, that could sound like a broken record. It's always just one time. What about the time before that, bitch? What about the time before that? And the time before that time before that time. The fuck? That's not how they're putting it down. That's not how they're laying it out for me. So you'll have to let me know down in the comments if this is just a bunch of bullshit. It feels very authentic. It feels extremely real, right? Like it feels, um, I feel a real pull towards this person, like empathetically almost. Like I feel sorry for them. Like you got the wrong idea. I'm not that guy or I'm not that girl. That was just one time, you know, you triggered me or I did, or I only did that because of this sort of energy. 
How could you let this go just because of one time? How, why are you not answering my phone call? I only talked to you that way once. I only did that once. That's how they are playing this out for me, you guys. So I really need to know, are they, are they bamboozling me? Are they trying to pull the wool over my eyes? What the fuck? It feels real. But I heard initially unmasked. So this could go either way, right? You could be using this one time as a lesson for them. Yeah, I'm not going to stick around to let you do that shit again. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's how this goes. You only get once. How about that? How about them apples, Eve? How about it? For others of you, it was way more than one time, right? Like, so they're really making excuses for themselves. They're trying to appear as if this is not the version of them that they are now. So for some of you, um, it could have been some time, right? You could have um, separated some time ago from this person. It could be someone from uh, deep, deep in the past. For others of you, this separation could have just occurred. They do definitely feel like, okay, yeah, I knew I felt it under the surface. We're going to unmask you, bitch. You're not going to, you will not <laughs> trick me. I'm not going to fall for the trickery, okay? We have anger. So I do feel like they're trying to keep that under wraps. They are trying to keep it masked. This is somebody who understands that if they allow their emotions to get away with them, then they will F up any chances of being able to pull you back in or being able to get near you. OK, being able to offer you anything else. Um, I don't know if that is just them being strategic, being manipulative or being wise. Right. It could be all three. It could be just one of them. Right. It's really hard to read this person's energy, you guys. Honestly, it's sort of like I want to believe them because it feels like, damn, that's sad, right? Sort of thing. But then on the other hand, I'm like, hmm, something feels off. Something doesn't sound right. Something sounds like you're omitting something or you're leaving something out. You're leaving me on. Soul connection. Sounds good. Okay, you could very well be soulmates, but. Soulmates come in all different shapes and sizes. Okay, they're not always healthiest for us. They sometimes are meant to teach us lessons. And your lesson may very well have been to abort mission, bitch. Abort, abort. Don't give them a second chance. Don't give them a second time to do that. All I need is once to see that you don't give a fuck. And I'm going to show you that I don't give a fuck more. <laughs> okay, how about it? Wow. Yeah. So they feel like you are betraying this thing called love. Wow. This person is putting 20 on 10. They're giving themselves a lot of credit, y'all. You, of course, don't have to feel like this. This is their energy. They feel like you are betraying something sacred. They feel as though you made them do all these things. You, you, ha you kept a watchful eye over them. This is somebody who is viewing you as like you were always you, you kept them under a microscope Rightfully so, though, ma'am, sir, bro, sis, your energy is off for me. I'm not able to really hone in on it, but it just feels off. For others of you, you could feel as if this person betrayed the sacred energy of this connection by way of their behavior. So what reason would there be to, st to stay around, to stick around? Hmm. So they are angry. OK, but they're masking it. So that could be what's becoming unmasked for them. They're not able to hold on to their self-control for much longer. They will be communicating with you. They at least are trying. Yeah. So they're trying to keep their hopes high. And I feel like this person is recognizing that reconciliation um, and the idea right, of getting back together or making this right. Um, they're trying to, to stay hopeful about that, but they also know that their communication cannot be ridden with anger, um, animosity, um, anything lower vibrational or toxic. Otherwise, they will diminish all chances, all hopes. They would have then betrayed themselves, right? Their own desires, their own self-interest. I also get the image of this person kind of staring at their phone. Now. This gives me pause. You see all of the other energy that I heard that I saw. I'm like, something seems off. Something seems not quite right. 
Why would opposition be here in a new love message? It just doesn't, not new love, but like a romantic message. For some of you, this could be somebody, like I said, who didn't last very long. The spectrum or time frame of this reading is expansive, is what I would say. So you're going to have to use your own intuition to guide you towards, you know, which person this might be in your sphere, who this is exactly. It's not um, being pinpointed to me. It's a very wide spectrum so it could be someone from like the deep past like I said it could be someone from a lifetime prior which is why it felt like like a soul connection or you felt so connected to them and comfortable so early on and for others of you this could and it could in fact be somebody new right like I said the the connections from the past or the the spiritual bond that you had with this person allowed for things to escalate rather quickly but you've only known them in the 3d for a short time OK, um, this is also why they thought, you know, it's just one time. It's just once. I only did it once. This person has been trying to contact you for some of you. OK. There could be a blockage there. Maybe you block them or you're just looking at their messages. You could be the one looking at their messages sort of like this. Reading it. Yeah. Responding. No. If you've experienced multiple betrayals from this person, then that would explain your behavior. But for some of you, you felt such a ick for whatever this person did. OK, look, I see like a sword going through the stem of a rose. It's so odd that they bring my attention to the rose specifically. I feel like if this person was holding a knife, right, where they had ulterior motives to be able to capture you emotionally with this spiritual connection card, um, it does anger them what they were getting back. So sort of like holding on to a rose, you know, it has thorns. It's beautiful right here. But on the other side is a very thorny stem. This person feels like you are giving them that kind of action now. They feel like you were really sweet before. They were really hopeful. I don't get that they're as hopeful now as they were before. They could be the ones looking at you thinking that you view them as an opposition or you view them as someone who is not safe. If this person angered you, I feel like they were expecting a different kind of response, right? People show up angry in different manners is what I'm hearing. So your communication could have been very calm and stern, right? But it was made that it was made to be known that you were very serious. OK, about disconnecting from this, about moving away from this. However, you communicated with this person or lack thereof. OK, so for some of you, you could have diminished this person's hopes of communicating with you again by blatantly ignoring them, ghosting them, blocking them. If this person is the one that walked away, they did expect to be able to reconcile when they were ready. They did not expect to come back to an opposing um, argument, okay, uh, opposing energy. So that is their bad, right, to, to have misread you in such a way. They never suspected that they would have to come back and actually work for your efforts, okay? So I'm now seeing these cards kind of differently. They, they watched you. They were very watchful. They were um, extremely vigilant about your way of doing things, right? How you move, how you react, um, how you are, what makes you mad, what makes you upset, what turns you on, like that sort of thing. That was the work that they feel like they did. And I feel like that is kind of backfiring, this idea of studying you, what came about. You're not as sweet on them anymore. They're not getting the reaction that they thought that they would. This is definitely entrapping them mentally and spiritually, okay? If this is a pattern for this person, then This will possibly be the first time that they were left out in the cold. If they ghosted you, walked away from you, they never suspected that they would still be tied to you in this way. They just thought that they would have access to you because of what they learned about you. Right. So they kind of had this idea of what they would be able to do to come back in and reconcile with you. The things that they would say. Right. The false hopes, um, the sweet nothings. Right. Sweet talking you. D you down real good. <laughs> okay, ride that D to the wheels fall out type shit. 
they kind of had an idea in their mind of what they would do because they've been watching you in their mind, but it's not working. Hmm. This reading feels all over the place. And I also feel like this, I feel as though this person wants to offer you something, but it's their version of love. It's not the way that you desire to be loved. That is what you saw. Okay, so now they're bringing me back to another train of thought that I had before I went off on this tangent. This soul connection card along with trap, it appears to me that if you know this person in another lifetime, they betrayed you multiple times. Yeah, it was it was just one, this one time in this lifetime, but you would have felt the urge, right? You would have felt this deep need to remove yourself, to protect yourself because of what was done prior lifetimes before. Ciao. It's getting kind of heavy. It's getting kind of heavy. So they're trying to control their anger so that they're able to make sound decisions and move towards you in a more calculated way. But I feel like it's not working for them as anger has shown up. Okay. You're not able to mask that. Very good, ma'am, sir. Breast says you're not. We can see right through you. I would be careful with engaging with this person moving forward in reference to their own ulterior motives. Okay. I'm still not able to really read their energy, you guys, right? I feel like this is somebody who is saying that they love you. But all of these cards suggest that they don't, right? Like suggest that they have ulterior motives. It's very confusing for me. Okay. I can only imagine. Okay. They said put that back in the reverse. I can only imagine the confusion you experience in this dynamic. Okay. We have undecided. That they wanted me to show, right? I, I just really don't know how to read this. So it's going to be important for you to protect yourself. We're going to try to dig in as much as we can. But I feel like I'm being pulled every which away from this person. I love you, but I'm mad at you. But we're soulmates. But I sometimes do shit to betray you. But I expect for you to, to love me. Okay, but sometimes the fault, the hopes that I give are false, right? It's, it's fraudulent behavior, right? But I don't expect for you to fucking block me. And you're like, why? Because I don't want to be alone. Like, okay, wh wh what is happening? What's happening? Okay, so they don't want to be your friend. Uh, this person is refusing to change. Here's the gag in that, right? You go all of these years, depending on how old they are, okay? Avoiding transformation, avoiding changes, being able to run them up, live the life that you desire and, you know, create wreak chaos and confusion and wreak havoc in other people's lives, right? For all of this time, for some of the many, many, and many of lifetimes, right? You go all this time doing that. That you kind of get used to it, right? You just kind of, it, it's, it's just a thing. That's just the way it is, is what I'm hearing. But all of that is going to change. It's changing right now, in fact, okay? So they may be really trying to hold on to their shit, but it's not working. I don't think I'm as confused anymore as I was a moment ago. Be very careful with even conducting a friendship with this person you guys okay i feel like they're on a path they're on the path of the most resistance um the ride is getting bumpy at this juncture it is they are looking for an out that doesn't mean to say that they don't have feelings for you but this person doesn't know how to show up with those feelings they don't really know how to show that in a proper way in a non-toxic manner this is the type of person who will say that they love you but that just really means that they want to control you it also means that they don't necessarily want to follow your rules or do the work that it takes to keep you but they do want to have access to you whenever they want right like they want to be able to come in and out in and out and they also want to be able to go whenever they want okay now friendship came up in the reverse i heard that two different ways does this person want to be your friend? No. This person wants to be able to control this connection. They want to be able to control what you do, right? Who you have access to, or, or better yet, who has access to you, who you're able to date, the people that you are able to be around and get to know. In their mind, that's what they are controlling. 
but they do it in a passive aggressive way, okay? Or they at least try to, okay? So they get you to be the one to sign up to guard yourself against other people, people who might be more attractive to you, okay? Um, they also like to show up and do things to keep you from thinking about leaving them in the past or leaving the past in the past, right? So this might be the type of person who brings up your history, who talks about the connection that you have because it is a soulmate, you guys, all right? So it's not very easy to walk away from things like that. We just got to keep it real. You know what I mean? Um, it's sometimes even confusing for yourself. Why it feels so good, but it hurts so bad is what I just heard. Damn. Yeah, it's like admiration, but then you also feel like you're meant to avoid the shit out of this person. It's a tough one, y'all. Okay. So it's like going back and forth. It's in limbo and they, they thrive to have someone in that confusing state because it doesn't allow for you to just walk away from them so easily or guard yourself from them. It in fact puts you in position to guard yourself from people that might actually be a better fit for you. And it is with the intent to control, but it, it looks like it's your idea, not theirs. When in, in all actuality, it's their idea. So I'm no longer confused about this person. Okay. I feel like they have ulterior motives and they always have. Um, their quote unquote love for you is borderline obsession. And it's really obsession about where you might go. Should you decide to really leave this in the past for good? Um, for a great majority of you, this could have gone on for multiple cycles. OK, they may have even already used this attempt by way of suggesting friendship. I'm more comfortable being friends than being lovers. It's a lie, right? Before you know it, the both of you are in the bed. They're in your bed or you're in their bed, right? And that's how the cycle or the saga is what they're saying. <laughs> that's how the saga continues. Attempting to be hopeful because... You had a great night with them or it was fun for a week. You know, they were doing great. It looks like they were changed. It was it was just, you know, it was a tactic. Now, this forever change and the friendship card, they both came in the reverse. OK. Um, this is manipulation, guys. OK, I don't get that friendship is the route right now because they are still very much so unchanged. In fact, they don't even see the changes coming. They can only feel the energy bubbling under the surface, but they're still trying their very best. Right. Ego, pride and all to keep a cool front. OK, to keep a keep keep a cool existence on the outside, but inside they're bubbling over. And for a great majority of you, it is because they feel like they've had you trapped for all this time. You never had the balls to walk away. That's what they said, not me, y'all. Don't start beating me up, okay? Little do they know their time is coming. Coming! It is coming. You changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. And the reason why they're saying without you even trying is because they just never thought anybody had the ability, right? Or the power to do that. They feel like they're so smart, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. This person gives themselves so much credit. They feel like they are like a mastermind. They feel like they are so smart. Like I can hear them talking to their friends. I got shoddy wrapped around my finger. I got, I got homeboy wrapped around my pinky bitch. If I call him right now and tell him to bring me some lunch, he got it. No matter, he gonna drop everything for me and come this way. Yeah, there's also this energy of them trying to isolate you out of beginning new connections, befriending anyone else, right? Especially someone else that you would potentially date. So there's been a lot of blockages in you meeting new people because of this person. So even if you have not been engaging with this person, they're doing energetic work on the other side, guys. OK, they're keeping a good eye on you. Even if you are not posting online, if you're not saying anything, they're looking to see who their opposing um, opponents are. Right. Who the ops are. The oppositions. Um. 
I also get that this person is communicating with you telepathically. They're trying to keep an attachment here, you guys, energetically. Even though all signs lead to you avoiding this, avoiding them, moving away from this and opening up your energy to something that wants to open their energy to you as well. Someone who admires you also. Someone who is ready for what you are ready for. Someone who is serious about you. Someone who is actually deserving of your time. I'm hearing, are you, are you done with the spin cycle? What say you, Aqua? Yeah, I'm hearing like, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Rinse it off, get it dirty. Rinse it off, get it dirty. Rinse it off, get it dirty. So it's so odd that this person will, would st well, why is it odd, Empress? Mm, why is it odd? They're a liar. Like, why is it odd? This is not an isolated incident. And it's sort of like they try to use word vomit or word salad. Word salad is better than vomit. <laughs> um, yeah, it's sort of like they try to spin it. So... Betrayal is betrayal, but because the details are not the same, they're trying to make it appear as if it's just an isolated event. It just happened once. I only did that once. Yeah, that was disrespectful. Any other thing you did was disrespectful. Just because they weren't the same in the details, right? Disrespect is disrespect. And guess what? Disrespect begets disrespect. Because this person does feel like you're being disrespectful at this time. <laughs> Sorry. They feel like you're disrespecting them. Or disrespecting the connection. Don't they have a lot of fucking nerve? You got a lot of nerve. You got the nerve, baby. Hmm. So let's see here. would be really careful about starting a friendship with this person or even communicating with them at this point you guys okay um they're only at the very beginning of what will be a tumultuous transformation i just have to say that okay i see thunder clouds i see a tornado i see rain i see a tsunami i see lots of wind i mean wind just blowing shit away hurricanes and it is because of their stubbornness their inability to see what has actually happened or denying, right, the, their reality. They're denying the reality of things. They're denying what is unfolding in their life, not just with you, in all areas. It does feel like an upheaval simultaneously, okay? So lots of shit is just blowing up in their face. This person could have definitely lied to a lot of people and gotten away with it for a lot of years or betrayed a lot of people and gotten away with it, tucked it under, buried it, right? I even see like a dead figure here. That shit is buried. And now it's all coming back to bite them simultaneously. It's crazy. They don't see the other areas in their life going up in flames because of their obsessive focus on this, on you. How did you get out of here? How did you get out of this gated <laughs> community? It's not a joke, guys. I, I kind of giggle or laugh to keep from fucking crying. This is just, it's deplorable behavior. So they are laser focused on who let you out of the gate, who gave you the key to the gate, who told you the gate was open, who told you you had the key all along. How the fuck did you get out of here? It's making them quite angry. And for someone who has been full of blatant disrespect i'm just gonna say it okay and betrayal after betrayal after betrayal this could be betrayal of your heart this could be betrayal of your emotions of your feelings this could be outright lying for some of you this could be cheating it could be a number of ways they've been trying to downplay it or act like that was one thing this is not the same thing don't bring up the past don't that 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 da, right however they try to maneuver that shit it is what it is Yet you figuring out that the key was always to just walk forward.
Don't look at the shiny shit, okay? Don't look at their pearly smile. Don't look at that fat ass. Don't look at the money. Don't look at the sweet things that they said. Delete all of the text messages. Delete all of the pictures. Delete all of the hopes of the future that you would have had or the things that you wish would happen or the stories that you may have told yourself about how things could potentially go, but they never actually went that way and not believing shit that possibly never will happen. Getting a grip and understanding the facts. <laughs> control guys you see you see how they'll spin them words because I highly doubt anybody anybody not a soul walking walk this motherfucking earth can let you do something what the fuck are you talking about what are you talking about you're out of control hate I let you walk away two exclamation marks they are boiling over the surface they're trying to keep it cool though. They are. I would be really careful with this one. We have Desperado here. Mm hmm. So now the truth is coming out. For some of you, I heard that phrase from the very beginning unmasking. They have been unmasked. So you either rip that motherfucking mask off or it fell the fuck off. Even though, because they are too wrapped up in themselves, self-focused, they didn't realize when you realized it. They didn't, they didn't notice when it happened, okay? So this is why they would still be in the same mind frame that they are in now. Leaving the past. This is a cycle that you could have been trying to end for a very long time, you guys. Many of lifetimes, in fact. I feel like you're going towards something way healthier than this. But this had to end. It had to come to this abrupt ending. Liar! <laughs> you're a liar! We got forever changed in the reverse. Okay, so we have apologies. We have saying the right things. But the behavior... Now, here's the thing. I'll take that back. Okay. I can give people the benefit of the doubt. I can. You know. Um, perhaps this person just went towards their transformation willingly. Perhaps. Perhaps. Who knows? You know, I can, get th I can have this all wrong. We have apologies, you know, they're saying sorry. We have work here. Maybe they really worked on themselves. I doubt it, but you know, it could be, it's a, it's a possibility. These cards don't show up for no reason. I just find it very coincidental, okay, that apologies and I promise to change fall right over avoidance. You see what I'm saying? You see? You see the fuck shit? I see you. And I see what you tried to do to me at the beginning of this reading as well. This person is good, y'all. They are. They're a good one, okay? They are good at this. They always went against the house. That's the term that I heard. Are they a gambler? Yeah, they gamble with hearts, bitch. They out here gambling with souls. Got it. They're losing. They're under. Okay? They are under at this time. This is all getting ready to change. And no, we don't rejoice in someone's downfall, but this person has been running a month for quite some time. Look at this bullshit. You see? Soulmates. And we also have the real deal. Now, I feel like this is showing up for a reason, you guys, right? Because you can meet multiple soulmates in a lifetime. You don't have to choose one over the other. You get to choose the one that's best for you. Just because it's a soulmate and has a magnetic attraction, right? And it has those, all those um, very inebriating feels, right? It can, it can feel like you're on a high. With a karmic soulmate, that high will end. Do you understand? And it might end multiple times. You will find yourself shattered or angry or sad or depressed or melancholy. The lower vibrational energies of the karmic soulmate connections will overpower the higher vibrational energies of just a regular soul contracted soulmate. Okay? So I know that was kind of confusing. Do your own research on that. That's my theory. Okay? And that is what I've been intuitively guided to say. They're both real. You did not imagine the connection. You did not imagine your admiration or the love that you may have started to feel for this person, which would have led you to empathize with them or want to give them multiple chances. Okay, this person possibly had a good way of playing victim, innocent, more innocent than they actually are. So don't beat yourself up. 
But now it's time to head in a new direction. Okay? And I see another soulmate over there. This person may also struggle with like um, avoidant attachment is what I'm hearing. I'm not a psychiatrist, but I'm hearing that phrase. Okay? I don't have a psychology degree, guys. But that's what I heard. Avoidance, avoidant attachment. And we have inner child here and children that came out. So perhaps this is how they regulate their emotions, right? In relationships, this is how they feel safe. Okay, it's very toxic and it can wreak havoc on the other person, but that's not their thought process, okay? Or at least it wasn't, right? That's all changing. They're no longer able to just go about life without taking other people into consideration. Mm, I bet it is. If you was if you was scared before, baby, your boots should, should, should be shaking. Okay. This one rather lose people than arguments. Wow, and they really are standing ten toes down on the fact that they let you get away. Um, whatever the last conversation was, they may feel like they pushed you too far. They may feel as though they should have just coward and said okay you're right that that's the reason why you walked away this person is definitely very confident like I said they are definitely they feel like they're really smart and they also feel like they normally play this like they could play this with their eyes closed but for some reason with you they, they feel like they just pushed it too far if they would have reeled it back in a little bit then you would have stayed or you would have never considered checking to see if the motherfucking gate was open blindly following them this is how they viewed you you guys don't start beating me up in the comments that's what they said <sighs> all right well let's head over to the extended we're gonna see we're gonna see about that new thing too okay without a doubt I definitely want to know their peers feelings towards this right the things that they would never tell you are there any regrets are they remorseful all right i also want to know what karmic debt are they scheduled to pay to that will require this evolution okay that will that the karmic debt that they are scheduled to pay that is required before they can evolve before they can change right that is the first step you know we can talk about transformation all day but you got debts based on this energy okay and the habits that are coming up intuitively you got debt to pay so you don't just get to bounce to the next level you you have there are steps to this there are levels to this and i already felt it right the tsunamis the tornadoes the hurricanes the winds okay shit on fire in their life quite literally uh let's see what that exactly entails and when we'll then see after that what changes they have made okay um upon Repaying that karmic debt. What is the transformation looking like and the time frame on that as well? Okay, we'll see their next steps and the potential or or rather their in their um, <laughs> Intentions guys their next steps and their intentions and that's important because whether or not you decide to re-engage this person or Give them a second chance or just be friends or whatever you, you need to see or be prepared, okay, for how they're getting ready to move. You want to be 10 steps ahead of this type of individual, especially since they feel like they're the MVP at their own game. We'll also see what blockages may have you still in position, okay, to be dealing with the same lessons, all right? For those of you who feel like this has been a cycle over and over, same person, different face, same soul, different face. Let's see what blockages have set it up to where you are finding yourself at the same lessons how can we end that how can we remove those blockages with the quickness asap like <laughs> yesterday and then we're going to tap right into the new love baby okay approaching new love we already had soulmates the real deal coming out there's something very healthy here and it is because of the releasing of a block all right the path that you take is free will guys you know you get to do what you want that's why i'm going to look at both right both outcomes whether you decide to deal with the old or the new which you're going to be able to have 
um, all the information necessary to make the most informed decision for yourself. But in terms of the new, let's see what beautiful energies are approaching you. Okay, how? How will they approach you? How will you more than likely meet this person? All right, what will attract you to them and them to you? Why are they single? La, 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 la. Okay, let's look at that in a couple of different ways. Why are they single according to them? Why are they single according to their exes? And why are they single according to the divine? Period. Are there any warnings, deal breakers, toxic traits that you need to be aware of? And then I want to know what the chemistry is like. Okay, how 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 popping is the chemistry in and out of the air room? <laughs> okay, y'all know I'm nosy. Y'all know I'm nosy. And then we'll get the potential for union. Okay, what is the potential for things to go all the way or have longevity with this new thing? Time frames on when you will meet this person and when your next committed connection or union will be. When will your next relationship be? Your next long term relationship be? And then we'll get focus advice. Okay, on how you can manifest the life of abundance and fulfillment that you desire in the least amount of time. So, without further ado, click that like button and the subscribe button as well as the not notification bell. And I'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box. I'm going to see y'all over there. Let's go.